Unfortunately, this is a typical Japanese coastal beach strewn with trash just everywhere. And here inside the bay, unfortunately, most of it is Japanese garbage. I can't blame this on Russia. So far, I'm not seeing any glass balls. So far, I found some rope. So if I do find some glass balls, I always look for a couple of things. Rope and old pieces of netting so that I can tie them to my kayak and get them back. Nope. Here's a old float plug. I keep these. That's a good one. There's a lot of broken glass here. Well, no glass balls over here today. Normally this beach will get me one or two every year but the Japanese are using fewer of them all the time everything's gone to plastic as you can see all right well we've walked this beach and no glass balls but did find a lot of plugs some ceramics, old jar tops, some sea glass, and I got some rope, which I might need. So, on to the next beach. right up there look at that now I got to figure out how to get to it and we'll hope it's not broken mm. now this is a little bit sharp we may have to we may have to hike over to this one Yes, I have a Bluetooth speaker in my life jacket. <laughs> so I have my soundtrack with me. I like it. Okay, we have to go hike over there. 
Okay, we're getting close. That ball should be right over here. The excitement is building. Is it broken or is it intact? Let's see. Can you see it? I see it. And it doesn't, it looks intact. Wow. It's intact. As long as I don't drop it on the way home. <laughs> we don't want to step on these. So these are really bad to step on. Sea urchins. Let's go over there. Okay, that's one. There's a lot of just beautiful driftwood here that I wish I could take back, but it's a little hard on a kayak. We may have to take a few pieces though. All this plastic, somebody's garbage. I'm recycling a bag I found. We'll see what we can collect in it. I may take that little plank. need a piece of fishing net oh oh that's a glass ball yay we got a discovery on camera it's covered <laughs> that's yeah that's a barnacle boy right there oh. look at that there we go this is how we find them come here Yeah, we're gonna clean this one up before we even try to load it. This is probably why it survived getting all the way up here on the rocks. Okay. Oh. Let's get it down here on the beach. And we're going to leave it there and keep looking, and then we'll come back and work on it to clean it up. All right, that's two. Hmm. Caveman club. I like that. I'm keeping that one. That is a beautiful piece. Oh. Hmm. Beautiful pieces of driftwood here. We may end up with a full boat and have to come back. I'm okay with that. I want this piece. Let's leave that one. Let's take this one. It's heavy. That means it's still good wood. Uh, no way is that going to fit in the kayak. Alright. We've got lots of rope. Still could use a little fishing net. Or I can build it out. Okay, we're going to repurpose this net around this styrofoam float. So I can stick a glass ball in there and make her float there we go ready-made cargo net all right well this beach here has been very good to me we've got two glass balls one is beautifully clean no net the other one uh it's gonna take a little bit of work to clean that up and the net will probably end up being cut off later but we're gonna keep it for now because i need it and Got some driftwood, three beautiful pieces. We'll try to get some of that into the boat. And if not, just lash it to the deck because we've got some recycled rope and some recycled netting. 
I'm going to have a little outrigger behind the seat with two glass balls. All right. She is rigged and ready to go. We got two glass balls on an outrigger made with some bamboo. That should level out once we get her in the water. Driftwood in the back. Big heavy piece wouldn't fit in the boat, so it's lashed to the front hatch straps. Let's see how stable it is when it gets in the water. That should help, actually. As long as I don't bump it on any rocks, we're good to go. We'll get those back intact. If I pick up the third one, it'll probably be in my lap, which I've done before. Let's get her in the water. All right, well, she's floating on an even keel. So that's a good test for balance of the load. All right, I'm in, I'm underway. Balance is okay, but I'm a little slow because I've got two big balls dragging behind me. <laughs> My kayak has big balls. Sorry, I just had to say that. And this piece of wood in the front is dragging a little bit on one side. Not much I can do about that. I think we will take this load back and then if I want to pick up that last ball, I'll make a separate trip for that one. spotted a ball just outside the port where I put in and I think I will just walk back to it it's only maybe a few hundred yards from the car and it, right there under the tree up there it looks like glass it could be plastic I don't know but it sure looks like glass it was kind of shining earlier and I think that's glass So, I'm going to unload this cargo, change, and then come back for that one on foot, because it's not very far. Almost home, or at least back to the car. I could go to the sandy beach, but I really hate sand. It gets into everything. So I'll take seaweed instead. Get a boat right where I want to be. That's okay. I'll share. getting out here and we made it back it does look rather phallic with two large balls and a very long yellow thing and hard wood on the front <laughs> let's just leave it at that and get this out of the water day. Still got one more to go get over there. <laughs>